is like thick. Right here. You guys see like this is thick. Yeah. And then this is like mushy. So the testes is the mushy inside because that's where the effort ductiles are. Like where the sperm is like stuck. And then here, this thicker white part is considered the epididymis. And it's kind of like the outer part, like what all that mushy stuff is in. So it's kind of like a bowl, if you think about it. And like, this is the epididymis, so that's the head of it, because where it starts. And then body, tail. Okay. What is that? That's like the femur. Oh, okay. That's just somebody I've cut never his thought leg. That. Okay. Yeah, this is just, you know, like your hip bone. Oh, okay. That's, that's just the cat. That. No, that's the cat. The epicondyle. Oh my god. Oh my god. I would not remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's the, there it is. Here's the bulge. Alright, so what you guys have to remember is there's two bulges coming off the urethra. And if you start, I always start from like the bottom of its tail, like the penis area up. So the bottom up, the first bulge, which is supposed, it's really hard to like say exactly what it is. The second bulge is easier to see. The first bulge is probably in like this area right here. That's the bulbo urethral gland. So it's the closest to like the bottom. Then going up the urethra you have a second bulge which you can actually feel with your finger. It's right here. So if you guys want to put gloves on and actually feel it, it's like a bump. And like you can kind of see that this is like kind of going out a little more than like this would be. So right here is the prostate gland. So bulbo urethral would be closer down here and then prostate is here. So if he's like pointing to like this and it's closer to the bladder, like if you see that there's not really a bulge, it's kind of just like the urethra, that's urethra. But if he points to like this, it's like a bulge. So the one at the top is the prostate, the one closer to the bottom, which is like in this area, is bulbo urethra. And he might try to get a cat where he can see that there's a better bulge, like cleaner. This is really so it would be cat. clear that there's a bulge there. Yeah, or that he's like kind of like or he's lifting something up or pinching, or like pinching it. It's probably a bulge. Um, if it just looks a little like bumpy, I know you're not gonna want to feel it. <laughs> I have the worst track record of like choosing the wrong thing he's talking. About, really? So. There's like two things I'm off. So I'm trying to figure that. Out. So I would say if he's like. If it's not close to the bladder, he's probably pointing to one of the glands. So like, if it's down here, and he's like, that, what's that? It's probably bulbo urethral gland, but this cat, the bulbo urethral gland, I can't really see it so well, because it's really messy down here. I can't even really feel it, but it's probably like right there. It's like, it's like a bulge, but this cat's not so good for that one. Then, this is clearly a bulge to me. Yeah. I can definitely feel it with my finger. It's the prostate gland. Can you see the best difference in this one? Or? Yes, it's this white thing. Oh, okay. And that's because if you see, like, here's its balls down here. So, the spermatic cord... The sperma this is the spermatic cord because it's like everything going from its testes to like up. Okay. So it's composed, here's the artery, the red thing, mm -hmm. and it also has a vein, but it's really tiny, you can't really see it right now. And then this like really white part, the really like white glossy part is the vas deferens. Okay. And it's all composed in, to one spermatic cord. Oh, got it. Kind of just like all running together. So if he points to just like the whole thing, but don't get confused because there's also a, um, there's also a ureter. So like, I think this one got cut. But like, don't get confused because although this looks like brownie and like stringy, there's also a ureter that goes from the kidney to the bladder that looks kind of like stringy just like this. So here, this is the ureter because it's going from the kidney to the bladder. So would it be like, you'd be able to see that it's attached to the kidney if he's asking for the... Yes, see here? Okay. Ureter. Okay. But over here, if you see that it's composed of a white vas deferens and a little red artery, then it's the whole thing is spermatic cord. But usually, if he's going to test you on spermatic cord, he's going to test you closer in this area. 
because that's where it originates from and everything is coming together. It's dramatic chord, but usually he probably will ask you the bass deference itself. Bass deference. Just that last one part. What about the it's going through the wall, right? Yeah, that's on the... Oh, sorry. sorry, that's on that one. You can see it's going through the wall on the other cap. The hole that everything... It, the body wall is cut off around this, but if there was a body wall here composing, the inguinal canal would be like what it's running through. And you can look at that cat so you understand that. <laughs> what did you want to go over? How did doctors about the gallbladder? Oh, so, the This is the sublingual. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. So, when you flip over onto the side that you can... Oh, the hepatic duct by the gallbladder? So... Liver in between the lobes is this green gallbladder. So the first, if you point, it'd be probably a little more cleaner. Like if you point a pin that's like right at the edge of the gallbladder, it's the cystic duct because that's the first thing that comes off. Of it. If he puts a pin, if he puts a pin, like lower down, like where everything is like bulging into each other, it's the common bile duct. So this cat's really messy and it's really hard to see exactly what I'm pointing to. But just know that cystic duct would be like up here, and then common bile duct, which I actually probably cut it because you can see there's like a hole in there. It's like, it's like right where everything is on you. So a little lower down, closer to the small intestines, would be the common bile duct. And some cats you can actually see it very distinctly, but I guess this one is really messy. And then, do you see like there's like these coming down from the liver into where everything drains? That's the hepatic duct, this. Because it's coming from the liver itself, not from the like center where the gallbladder is. So coming from the liver is hepatic duct. See this one? There's actually many of them because there's many liver lobes. And then coming from the gallbladder sorry, is the cystic duct. And then where they all meet, the common bile, though.